Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a 7-Eleven convenience store. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Make it to the very end of the video to see where we place 7-Eleven in the city. This is the amount of space required to make 7-Eleven. And here are some of the materials that we will use throughout the build. We will also need these materials as well. Begin by placing a terracotta on the ground. Place a light grey concrete to the right of it, and then another terracotta. Behind this, place a white concrete. Then dig two rows in the ground to the right and place sea lanterns in there. On the opposite side of this, place a white concrete. We then want to dig two rows in the ground extending right and replace those with sea lanterns. Then place a white concrete on the end. In front of and to the right of this, place a terracotta and then extend right by one. We then want to extend up each one of the terracottas by two. So one, two. Over here on this left side, one, two, and one, two. We want to connect the top pair of terracottas together with a polished blackstone stairs. We then want to extend the white concrete up and behind the row of terracotta that we have here and extend each other white concrete up by two that we have as well. On this left side, we want to connect the top of the white concrete rows together with a row of black concrete and then fill this window in with glass block. However, this right side, we want to add a row of glass pane and then an end rod suspended in front of the center block like this. We also want to add a bit of white concrete behind the light grey concrete, the gap and the stair that we have here. Next, we want to place a layer of red never brick slabs connecting the two terracotta rows together left to right. We then want to extend an entire row of red never brick slabs in front of the entire store like this left to right. We then want to place a layer of lime concrete on top of the slabs and then a layer of cut red sandstone slabs on top, just like this. If you don't like the texture, you can also use smooth red sandstone slabs as well. That is such a mouthful. Place a stone button in front of the light grey concrete that we have here, a detector rail on top of the concrete, and then a painting behind. That one will do. Next, we want to place a row of white concrete behind the lime concrete that we placed, and then a layer of white concrete behind the sandstone slabs that we placed. The end result will look like this. On the right side of the build, we first of all want to extend the bottom of this wall backwards by 11 rows using terracotta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Come all the way over to the left and place two terracotta extending right, 1, 2, and then two glass, extend the glass upwards, and then fill the first two rows in with terracotta, and then the last two rows in with white concrete. On the back of the build, we simply want to extend every single terracotta and white concrete all the way over to the right and line up with the end of the front of the build. On the left side of the build, we first of all want to connect the terracotta together at the bottom, back to front, and then starting over here on the left, we want to place a row of four terracotta, one, two, three, four, extending forwards, two glass block, fill the rest of this row in with terracotta, extend the glass block upwards, fill the rest of the row in with terracotta, and then last but not least, 
fill these remaining two rows in with terracotta. I think that now is the perfect time to dig out the entire inside of 7-Eleven, so we are simply going to replace all of the grass block with birch planks. Whilst we're in here, we are also just going to add a row of white concrete just to the left of the door to smooth out this wall. Next, we are going to add a layer of light grey concrete that sits on top of the door frame and the windows and extends all the way to the back of the build. This is going to form the roof. Next, we are going to add poppies to the left and right side of the build, but also we are going to add two rows of oak leaves that extend across the entire back of the build like this, and they just stick out one row from the actual 7-Eleven building on both sides, like this. Next, we want to add a two row wide path that spans the entire width of our 7-Eleven grid directly in front of the building. And then we want to just dig towards the entrance and fill this in with smooth stone as well. We then, on the right side of the build, want to leave a gap of one. And then we want to dig a two row wide path that leads all the way to the end of the grid, just like this. And then, inside of this empty space extending left from the corner of this path, we want to dig and place a white concrete powder. Dig three rows, one, two, three. Replace those with cyan terracotta. Dig the end of this, white concrete powder, three more, one, two, three, replace those with cyan terracotta, and then on the end, a white concrete powder. We then want to dig out this entire section and extend the white concrete powder forwards as well as the cyan terracotta, and this will naturally form car parking spaces. And I'm also just going to remove the edge of the grid and replace the white concrete with grass, just like this. In front of the very end of this path, we are going to place a diorite wall, then an anvil on top of it, specifically facing this way, and then we want to place two white concrete on top of the anvil, like this. Next, we are going to make the 7-Eleven logo in the form of a banner. So throw down a loom, open it up, place a white banner in there with some orange dye, and first of all, apply the chief pattern. Grab that, put that back in with some red dye, and apply the bend sinister pattern. Grab that, put that back in with some lime dye, and apply the fest pattern. Grab that, put that back in with some white dye, and apply the bourgeois pattern. There we go. First of all, we are going to put this banner here on this standing sign that we've just made facing into the car park. And second, we are going to place it right here on the front of the store. So you can see exactly where this goes directly above that center row of white concrete. With the entire outside of 7-Eleven complete, we can now head inside and begin work on the interior. Begin by placing a furnace in the back right hand corner of the build and then a red concrete next to it. Place a glass on top of it with an item frame in front of the glass, a cooked pork chop inside of the item frame and a red carpet on top. We also want to place a detector rail on top of the furnace. Next to the red concrete and the glass, we want to place a row of blue concrete that extends from the floor to the ceiling. Extend the block on the floor to the right by three, one, two, three, and then all the way up to the ceiling. We want to place a brewing stand inside of this space with a flower pot to the right of it, a lever above one block and a tripwire hook above the other. On the left side, a couple of blackstone buttons and on the right side, item frames with various potions inside of them. Right of this, we want to place a red concrete powder, melon, and then a pumpkin. On top of the pumpkin, a sea pickle, and on top of the red concrete powder, an item frame with an apple inside of it. Place spruce trapdoors flipped up in front of all of this. 
and then leave a gap of one in front of this blue concrete and place a white concrete and extend all the way over to the left. We then want to leave a gap of one on the end here and place a polished blackstone stairs, polished blackstone pressure plate, item frame and then a lantern like this. And then on this wall facing us we want a mixture of different mob heads to look like various sorts of toys. And this is kind of the counter space slash right side of the store complete. Next to this counter space we are going to place a scaffolding and another one on top and inside of it an item frame with a bread inside of the item frame and then left of this a spruce plank with a cake on top of it. Then left of this two white concrete extending up from the ground. We are then going to dig left, place a sea lantern, white concrete next to it, dig left, place a sea lantern, extend the white concrete upwards and place light blue stained glass in between all of the white concretes, smooth quartz slabs across the top of this. Then we want to add item frames to the glass in any sort of amount that you like. Then we want to place blackstone buttons in front of the upper white concrete blocks and then place different things in the item frames. I'm going with some veg. So carrots, beetroot and potato. Over in the opposite corner of the store I'm just going to place a couple of armor stands with different types of clothing on them. So I'm going with all leather just for easiness but do feel free to mix and match. Left and right of this window we want to place a torch but we also want to place a series of bookshelves. So we want to leave a gap of one and then place one, two, three bookshelves in front of the torches like this, extend them up a row like so, add white carpet to the top of each of the bookshelves. Then we want to add in this order in front of the first bookshelf, a row of red carpet, in front of the second bookshelf, lime carpet, and in front of the, well, this isn't a bookshelf, but you guys get the point. In front of the freezer section, a layer of orange carpet. And in finishing that, that is pretty much the entire inside of the build. And that is the tutorial complete, ladies and gentlemen. However, we still have one very important thing left to do. We must add 7-Eleven into our city. I hate to do this, but unfortunately there isn't a great place for 7-Eleven at the moment, so we are just going to put it into storage next to our fire station. However, I am going to work on putting a bunch of builds together that will then allow me to place this and a few other builds that are in storage at the moment as well. But that's it. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope that you are enjoying building your city as much as I am enjoying designing and making my city. If you're looking for more builds to add to your city, please do remember to check the description below for the mini city builds playlist. We have so many things in there that you've probably not built that it will keep you busy for a long time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Good bye.